Okay. What's up guys? What's up YouTube? How are you guys doing today on the channel? As you can see, I am playing um what do you call this game again? Sorry for noise in the background. I'm playing main assembly. Oh frick, my mic just fell. Shoot. Right. Yeah, I'm playing main assembly. Thank you to let's give a huge shout out to Team 17 Studio Development, whatever the name is. I just can't remember it. Anyway. Thank you to the devs for dropping a copy of the game. Like from time recording it's actually the same day. So huge shout out to the devs for dropping a copy of the cruise beta key. So this is the state of the game right now. I've played around in the game once or twice, like once. As I was saying before that crazy interruption there. Um, yeah, so the we have the state of the game right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I said all of that already, right? I'm just putting in the first vehicle I ever made in the game. That took like a, a whole half an hour to actually make. And it's somewhat working. Let me just figure this thing out. There it is. I actually figured out how to program the lights. Uh, that's like really weird how I built that shit. Oh my lord, what the hell did I do? <laughs> when I drop something wrong, it's flat. It's just the proportions when I tried to build it. Was well, kind of off. So as you can see, it's working. Uh, the lights on top, it's L. I actually programmed that in. There's the reverse lights. And then, I don't know why it does that, like, seriously. Right. And then we press S, the reverse lights would come on. Space would bring on the brake light. It's really complicated, not that much how to program those lights. As I did light and design in school, I know the basics of lights. LEDs to be exact. If you place red, yellow and green, what did I say yellow? Red, blue and green. My light and design teacher would be annoyed with me right now. Red, blue and green. Together you will get the white light off. Get ready. Just not, just not. Three, two, one. Well, obviously, it can't still. It's, I don't know why it does that breaking stuff. Or when I reverse it, skates one direction. Get ready. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, right, let's just run through this race quick here. Yeah? Oh my lord, it's really hard to control this vehicle. I may create another one. This was just the first test vehicle that I created. Yeah, I haven't tested out the flight. I haven't actually made a flying vehicle yet. Probably would. If you guys want to see more main assembly on the channel. Oh my god, that's enough road locketing I have for guys. Hey shit, yo, whoa, 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 turn, 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 turn. Right. <laughs> if you guys want to see more main assembly builds on the channel, let me know. Drop a comment below. If we hit 100 likes, that's a very high milestone. What, Dave? Right. <gasps> oh, come, come, come. Ooh, I can actually drive in the water now. That's new. I just broke the back. That's the end. I remember watching Scrapman play this game. 
That's what I actually got. To normal this game. Oh my god. Well, I think I just broke the seat. <laughs> I just broke the seat. Let's see if we can complete this. Down the vehicle. Unfortunately, we can't. Oh god, I have to spawn that thing back in. Right. So yeah, I've watched Scrapman play a couple of these, mostly challenges and some sandbox. Looks like a very interesting game. And did not oh frick. Wow. Wow. Are you done flipping yet? Did not disappoint me. It's just as, just as it says. Probably do some challenges. Yeah, uh, whoa. Right. So in the earlier version of the game before this this week actually is the beta testing week, close beta testing. Oh god oh my god. So yeah before the this actual beta version the you could not have drived in water. From my knowledge. As soon as you touch water you are pitched out of the vehicle. As I see they added the ability to drive in relative to the water. I'm not sure if they have added in the oh frick, oh frick, oh frick. Oh well. Not sure if they have added in the seriously. Right. Not sure if they have added in the actual ability to make water vehicles yet. But we'll see. It's after all in beta. So it still has a long way to go. Right. Oh my god. I just realized that I'm driving on snow. What of the tree? Tree. There's a lot of programming in this game in regards to the... It can get very complicated. I usually use the basic programming display, but... Um, I actually have an idea of the next vehicle that I'm gonna create in this game. If you guys wanna play around with this um, vehicle that I'm driving in right now, it is on the workshop. I'll drop a link in the description below. Anyway, oh frick, if I let me know. Right. <coughs> so the challenge that I'm challenging myself to do, hopefully in the next episode of Main Assembly sometime soon, is to create a veto. You guys may have seen that I have created a veto in Trail Makers a while back. That's also in the workshop. That was difficult to create in drill makers. So it might be worse to create a VTOL in Main Assembly. Oh frick. I'm not using bricks at all for some damn reason. As you can see my brick sites. Yes, so potentially next episode I'll try my best to see if I can create a V2 that works in, in assembly. You guys want me to do a separate series on the challenges, like the challenge mode of the game and not the sandbox mode. Let me know down in the comments below. I will see if I can do that one side by side. Depending on my schedule. Mm, I should have put a break stay. Hold on 
Don't spin out. Don't spin out. Right. This is a cross the map drive. Didn't expect it to be that long. It's dangerous. Yeah, so... Um, as I was saying about the challenges, if you guys want to see me do the challenges, challenge mode of the game, let me know in the comments below. I'd probably do a bit of the challenge mode in this recording session. Just to show up and see what's new in the challenge mode. Also, I'm thinking of doing a series. Oh my god, I just spinned around there. Oh, I can actually see the damage to my vehicle right now. All those crashes. It's made out of, I can't remember, the heaviest material in this game, so... I have no idea why it still, still flips. And it's made out of the heaviest material. Oh, and we are back. That took. Nope, 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 I'm not going to have to do that. Nope, nope, nope. Damn. I just flipped. I just flipped. Right. Let me show you guys the. Programming, quick programming, so you guys can see. The, wait, why am I on frames? Just click on the lights here. Program. Right. Yeah, that's complicated as hell. <laughs> so this is the. I should have organized that. Let me just organize this so you guys can understand what the hell I have here. Right, so basically making that. This is the most complicated part of the old programming stuff. Basically, spacebar activates bricks on the wheels and also is dropped into the adder. And but here yeah, to join with S to initialize the redder on the back lights. So if I press spacebar alone, it would just put red on the lamps on the back. For the brakes, if I press the S, as you can see, S goes to the red, green, and blue. Red, green, and blue in the color spectrum gives you white. So that's where I got the reverse lights from. So that's this basic simple programming, the most simple programming for reverse lights. And this here is just basically to light bars on top and to put each light has their red yellow red, red green and blue why why do i keep saying yellow man come on so yeah it also has controller so l is also why i haven't put in the controller one for that one yet because i don't have my controller on me right now Anyway, so that's the programming. You guys can actually configure the controls for the brake lights because I haven't finished configure that. So you guys can configure that yourself. And yeah. So that's the basic. This is a basic, basic, absolute basic configuration stuff for the game. 
And if you search the advanced mode, you'd see this whole complicated. I don't know what the hell is. It's just stressful and complicated. Like, well, I know the basic and all these, these binary and stuff, but logistics. Wow. Wow, <laughs> so that does not explain the whole damn game. What the hell? Well, the maths is the same basic. Wow. You can get pretty complicated with these bills. Hmm. Let's see. That being said, yeah. VTOL is going to be very complicated in the programming section. Um, let's see, and this is the trusters. RCS trusters. Actually, that means if you have an RCS truster, if you guys know I play Cuba Space Program, I know exactly what an RCS truster is. <laughs> we could actually create a space shuttle well at least something that can control itself in like in the middle of the air boosters jet engine the boosters are basically the short boost just like in trail makers they have the i forgot what is the actual name of that booster in trail in, in trail makers where it just works for a specific amount of time and then it cools down and then works again. So this is the main assembly relevant to that booster. And this is the main assembly relevant to the actual Dragon Engine, Dragon Truster, I think it is, in Trail Makers, if I remember that one. And propellers, different sizes, large, medium, small, RCS Truster. Classics. Ah, so this is the plate. It's weird. And now this is where you get all the complicated stuff like ropes. Universal joint. Where you saw um Scrapman made a blade blade with chains. Is that video was just so weird. Like absolutely weird. I did not figure out that whole thing yet. Uh, it was an interesting. Um, I forgot what I was going to say there. It was an interesting idea, concept. It actually worked in some sense. Pistons and this would be springs. I actually thought this was actually like springs. And this was pistons for some damn reason. I thought that I have no idea why. Engines and servos. So, wow, that servo is ridiculously weird. And attachments. So basically, this is where you can simple blah 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 blah. Right? Yeah, it says it all there. We got sensors. Wait, we got speakers. Oh my god, I forgot to add a horn to my vehicle. Gyroscope. Oh, now that just made life so much better. In regards to the VTOL, that is. But that would be kind of cheating if I'm making a VTOL with that. It's uh, weird. Smart sensor, direction. So instead of like programming how I did it, why is my vehicle twitching? Okay. Instead of doing like the programming where I did with the reverse lights, you can do a simple programming with the smart sensor because it actually senses the direction for this problem, whatever. Never mind. I'm not going to try to explain that. Ooh. Well, this is a program. 
<laughs> you guys are probably laughing at me right now. I can't talk for some damn reason. Oh my lord. Why is that so big? Oh my lord. Hmm. You know what? Seeing the speaker here and uh, also knowing that I have those light bars on top of my vehicle. What if I can somehow program, that's going to be a lot of programming, the light bars to act like, um, let's see, the light bars to act as police lights or ambulance lights, whatever, emergency lights, let's just stick with that. And use this for a siren. That's interesting. There's a lot of potential a camera. So a camera. So having a camera in the game and also having a gyroscope and RCL thrusters, you guys probably get what I'm coming from. You can make drones. Like a drone making drones. That's weird. That just that just came on weird. A drone making drones. Uh, awkward video. Well, that's the basic, and you also have. A C I forgot to say that you also have a CPU, so it can be remotely controlled. Oh my lord! We got drones, guys. We got drones. And this is basically lights, LEDs. These are the lamps that are used in the back. Creative reverse sights. The spotlights can be the same on top here, but I used the bar instead. I'm not sure why I used the bar. It should have like a relevant. I could have used this in front, but the front of my vehicle is not that much. Flat to see. I have lights on it. Interesting, they actually have like. <laughs> oh my lord! They got eyes! <laughs> I don't know what's going on with those dogs in the background there, but okay. They got friggin' eyes in the game. Wow, this opens a whole realm. Of possibilities you know in trail makers you are limited to like a square or a certain angle of a block as you can see in main assembly if you guys are new to the game you can actually adjust everything to a specific angle each block at each angle can be changed but it's not actually blocks it's panels so you can change each angle like say I click as you can see that's on an angle I click this here I can just simply press alt and I can bend it now that looks very weird but I can bend it to any specific angle I want let's say you want it to look that weirdly weird you can do that I'm definitely not gonna do that to my vehicle Oh, wrong button. Right, it's just backwards, huh? So you can actually make some crazy builds. Anyway, guys, it's coming to the end of the video. This is a first look into the close beta version of main assembly. Again, huge thanks and shout out to the developers of the game for dropping a copy of. The game for me to try out for you guys on the channel so yeah let's go thank you guys for tuning in all social links would be down in the description if you guys want to know who i'm talking about scrap mana drop a link to his channel also down in the description so you guys can see a bit more of the game a bit more in regards to that because i'm not that savvy of the game yet because i've just started playing the game today today 
Yes, today I've just started playing the game today. So when I get more advanced in the game, you'll probably see some more. But if you guys want to continue watching some main assembly videos, I'll drop a link to scrap some the scrapped scrap man's playlist in the description. I probably put it in somewhere wrong on the screen in the cards above somewhere there somewhere wrong there somewhere and my hands probably did not come within the webcam but somewhere wrong. i'll put it hey guys thank you for tuning in to this episode it's been like five minutes of trying to run the outro but anyway let's go social media links down below new merch down below end of the episode <laughs> see you guys in the next one Ashbos out. Peace.